They are coming. No. They are already here. This is a zebra mussel. Oops, wrong one. This is the invasive zebra mussel, also known as the Dracaena polymorpha. All mussels attach themselves to the bottom of the seafloor or rocks with byzas. Byzas are adhesive threads made of keratin. Keratin is the same stuff that our fingernails and hair is made of. Zebra mussels are about the size of your fingernail, but they can grow to be about 5 centimeters long. Zebra mussels can live for 4 to 5 years. A female zebra mussel can produce 30,000 to 40,000 eggs at a time. That is over a million a year. Zebra mussels can survive in a wide range of environmental conditions. Adult zebra mussels can even survive out of water for up to 7 days. Zebra mussels are originally from the Black and Caspian Seas. Intercontinental ships are thought to be the reason why zebra mussels are in the Great Lakes. The zebra mussels are drawn into the ballast tanks of the intercontinental ships. When the ships get to the Great Lakes, they are discharged into the waters where they flourish. Did you know that zebra mussels can filter out the pollution in the water? By doing this, zebra mussels in Lake St. Clair have helped increase the population of the yellow trout by 500%. Though zebra mussels benefit the Great Lake ecosystem, they cause more harm than they help it. Because zebra mussels process up to 1 liter of water a day, water clarity in Lake Erie has increased from 15 centimeters in some areas to a meter in others. This increased water clarity has allowed sunlight to penetrate deeper into the water. The sunlight allows submerged macrophytes to reproduce at an exponential rate. When these plants die, they wash up on shoreline. This fouls beaches and causes water quality problems. Zebra mussels grow in pipes. This is because the pipes provide shelter for juvenile mussels. Zebra mussels reproduce so rapidly, people have started to use pipes coated in cupronickel alloys. People do this because zebra mussels' byzas cannot attach to this copper nickel alloy. One time, Ford Motor Company was forced to close its casting plant in Windsor. This was in order to remove a colony of zebra mussels from the pipes which sent cooling water to their furnaces. Zebra mussels completely cover the underside of boats, docks, and anchors. Zebra mussels build their colonies on American Union clams. This reduces the American Union clams movement and their ability to feed and breed which is leading to their near extinction in Lake St. Clair and western part of Lake Erie. Zebra mussels have already made two freshwater mussels extinct when they invaded Ireland in 1997. Normally the dissolved oxygen in the water would go to the native species of fish. Now that the zebra mussel is in the Great Lakes, oxygen supplies are limited. Since zebra mussels have a greater biomass than the native fish and clam species, this causes the zebra mussels to use up more dissolved oxygen. Without dissolved oxygen, the native species die of hypoxia, which is lack of oxygen. Zebra mussels have a huge appetite. This means that the plankton population decreases greatly, which means less food for other fish. The North American predators of zebra mussels are a variety of fish, such as the pond perch and buffalo fish, crustaceans, such as the crayfish, and some water birds, such as the greater and lesser scot. But the zebra mussels' natural predators are in Europe. Crayfish could have a big impact on the densities of zebra mussels 1 to 5 millimeters long. Adult crayfish eat an average of 106 zebra mussels per day, or about 6,000 mussels in a season. In cooler water temperature, predation rates are notably reduced. Since zebra mussels filter out the pollutants of the water, when it is eaten by a predator, the contaminants will bioaccumulate in the predator and bioamplificate throughout the food web. These contaminants have been known to kill tertiary consumers and sport fish. Canadian conservation authorities announced that a test using liquid fertilizer to kill invasive zebra mussels was successful. Even with this test, officials in the region agree that money would be wasted battling the zebra mussel. They believe it is more reasonable to accept their presence and concentrate on keeping intake pipes and other structures clear. For more information, go to person3135.wix.com slash zebra mussels.